What is up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Snap! I mean, new Pokemon Snap! On the Nintendo Switch, last time we began the adventure in Lentil region by taking many fabulous photos of many peculiar Pokemon. I'm trying to keep up the, the, the whole rhyme. No, it's not even rhyme. And I wanted to show off what the title screen looks like with little cutie fly coming quite close and no music for some reason. So remember to leave a like for awkward silence and every 1000 likes I'll be posting the next episode. We got a little marathon of Pokemon Snap coming your way starting probably tomorrow. I'm guessing I'll only post the first two parts on Thursday since the game's technically not out for a lot of people, but Friday we're kicking it into overdrive as I always seem to say. So today we're going to be heading back to the nature park, but at nighttime it seems. And as I've mentioned from the trailers, if you've seen those, uh, the whole Illumina Pokemon thing, at least the only one I know, I mean it's on the cover of the game too, is Meganium. I don't know if that's like the legendary or mysterious one the professor's talking about from that one dude's book. I mean, Mew was like the main legendary. Oh my god, his score buddy! Okay, forget about everything. Oh, he, dude, he's scorching the ground too. That's amazing. Yeah, that's definitely a behavior we want to capture from score bunny. Seems like a lot of these Pokemon are asleep right now. I don't know if that's really the best time to take pictures of them. Maybe the scan can wake them up or something? I'll just focus on score bunny. And just like in the last episode, it's hard to... Oh, Pidgeotto! Oh no! I keep missing them because I guess I shouldn't even zoom in with some of these. Hey, little score bunny. I see you creeping. Hey, and making a little face for us too. But yeah, like the first episode, I find it hard to focus on what I'm talking about while also taking the pics. You got anything for us, Mr. Trangrowth? You want to do a little special? Oh, there we go. I guess that's the best we're going to get. But yeah, sometimes it's actually better not to zoom in the camera just to snap like a quick picture. I miss Pidgeotto because I tried to zoom in and really didn't need to. Or even right there, man. I could have just took a picture of the Murkrows before they flew off into the distance. And that is definitely a pincer. But I don't know if we can like maybe wake it up. <gasps> oh, yes, we can. Hello. Who's a cute guy? Not you. Pinsir is actually quite devastating. But as I was saying earlier, Mew was kind of like the main legendary of the first game. And I had a feeling that Celebi might be the one for this game. But I don't know if that's just me or if we actually might have seen that at some point in a trailer or not. I might just be making things up. Because, you know, Kanto, Mew, Johto, Celebi are sort of like the counterparts there. I really want this Pidgeot! No! I wanted it to turn around and maybe we could get a better- Oh my! That's a sleeping Bidoof, dude. That's amazing. I didn't really mention the Torteras, but I think it was pretty obvious that Torterra was front and center there with that one. Ooh, we can definitely get a good pick of those Murkrows. There's two of them, too. And Hoot Hoot has woken up now that it's nighttime, too. Oh, that was good. Ooh, that was, that was pretty good, I think. We're gonna have to make a tough decision there between... The picture of Murkrow flying or cawing at the camera. Hoot Hoot doesn't seem to be doing anything too special. Oh, there it goes. Do one more time for me. Hey, that's perfect. That actually might be as good as it gets for Hoot Hoot. And I see some things glowing over here too. I don't know what those are all about. But if you missed the first episode, definitely go check it out. If for some reason you still don't want to. Well, I'm going to recap it for you because this button that I keep pressing that might seem kind of annoying. <gasps> Kobe! Look over here! No! Oh, there's a bunch of them actually. But yeah, this right here is the scan feature. And it basically reveals things in the area. I guess I seem to have missed one. Something that we could have scanned for. Oh, and we barely missed that combi right as it turned around. Oh, is it this that, that wants us to scan? Yeah, the Krista Bloom. Already got pictures of that earlier. Oh, there we go. I guess the scan actually can get combi to turn around. Oh, is this it? This might actually be the scene with the uh, Meganium coming up. I want that sleeping score bunny though. With Torterra too? Oh, no. Just score bunny, I guess. I thought this was gonna be it. 
This looks like the flower field where Meganium would spawn, but maybe because we don't have the Illumina Orb yet, we can't trigger it? We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Okay, so this I'm not sure if I should like trim down in the video or what. I mean, it's kind of like the main thing of the game, you know, analyzing your photos. And I guess it's kind of fun, or maybe fun for you guys to experience it with me, trying to pick out the best ones. Or if you're playing the game too, maybe compare the photos that you took with mine and try to get the same shots. Like for example, this, I don't know which one is better. I feel like Murkrow screaming at the camera. Oh, it's a three star actually. So that's definitely, uh, or probably worth more points. I'm gonna say this, cause he's facing more front. And then Combi, he's not quite in the center of the frame, but I'd say that's still pretty good. Hoodoo, yeah, that's gonna be worth a lot of points. What? How is that Swana? Excuse me? <laughs> All right, well, I mean, it's definitely not Pidgeotto. And then for Torterra, what? This is for Torterra? I thought that would have counted for Score Bunny. But sure, I'll, I'll take this one. And then, yeah, Swana. No, that was definitely Pidgeot, not no Swana. Let's have a look. Starting with Score Bunny. I love that squinty face it's making. So cute, dude. And trying to hide behind Torterra. That's a 4k right there with the diamond stars. I saw that I've gotten some golden stars too, so obviously sparkly diamond ones are going to be better. That's pretty good Bofalon right there, nice and close up. Although he was sleeping. But I guess that's a different behavior we haven't seen yet. Tangrowth, first time we've gotten a picture of it. And it's a 4k diamond too. You gotta love it. First time we've gotten Caterpie as well. That photo dex is filling up real quick, and we're still only on the first level. That's what's insane to me, that we're actually still, like, haven't even gone to the second area. Uh, the whole day and night cycle thing definitely, well, literally adds more layers to the game than the first Pokemon Snap. Where I don't think we had that feature. I'm sure that we didn't have that feature. It was just, like, seven levels. So now, not only do we have... I don't know how many levels are in this game, actually, but you can also go to each of those levels day and nighttime, which is really cool. Bringing out the pincer there, looking like a potato coming out the ground. <laughs> I don't know any other vegetables that you pull out of the ground. There's, there's a lot, but potato's the first thing that came to mind. Now, I don't know about this Torterra, man. That's definitely more score bunny in that photo, so I feel like, yeah, we're not gonna get too many points. Bidoof, like, it's still, it's very hard to top that Bidoof photo on the left there. I'm gonna keep it, dude. That's a gold star instead of silver. This Hoot Hoot has gotta be a diamond. Like, it's right in the middle, great size. There's no other Pokemon, but yep, that's a diamond right there. Kobe might be diamond too, actually. Other than not being right in the center, I feel like it's pretty good. And yep, we got the diamond. What else you got for us, Professor? Level two at night, maybe? 50k until next level. I'm gonna just let it go nice and slow like Diamond and Pearl. Looks like you've got the hang of nighttime research. Keep up the good work. It wasn't really that different. Man didn't even give us like a flashlight or anything. We just had a bear with the darkness. Anyway, got some nice achievements and a profile icon. Cause yeah, there is actually a social media aspect to this game too. Basically, Pokemon made their own Instagram where you can post your Pokemon Snap photo, so we might check that out in a later episode. Thanks to the progress you've made, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. What's next? I guess we can save our photos. I've noticed that our album, though, is already getting pretty full. Like, we only have 24 more, so I don't think I'm gonna save all of our photos anymore. Probably just like the really good ones, like, I don't know if I really need this combi, you know. We can probably get a better photo of it. Ooh, that's intriguing. Oh, voice acting. Something incredible has happened. Really? Here, take a look at this. Holograms? I've never seen such technology. I just love Audido just chilling in the back. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. 
also. We know exactly what it is, man. Just cut to it. Its source seemed to be moving, too, if only slightly. Which suggests what we've got here is... An Illumina Pokemon? Mm -hmm. We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading's coming from. What? Aw, I want to go see too! You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. It's not the same, dude. Come on. Right. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Oh, it's like watching raves on Twitch. Like, it's never gonna be the same, man. I can't wub to Skrillex unless it's in person. But maybe one day, Rita, you'll get to come along with us. Because for now, it's gonna be another solo mission straight to the Illumina spot. Which I'm guessing means that it might just be a cutscene? I'm not sure. That was a quick loading, though. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Mm-hmm. Do you see or hear anything? Not really. I mean, maybe. Nope, definitely nothing. Oh, man, put the shield down. That's not good. Better put it- get that protection, boy. Something fierce is coming your way. What? Where did it, where did it come from? How does that sneak up on you, dude? That thing is huge! Where did it do? <laughs> Was it hiding underground or what? Meganium out of nowhere! Oh, Meganium's the Illumina Pokemon! Quick, get its picture! Yeah, quickly! Why do we threw the shield back up? I'm pretty sure it was fine. Like, the Meganium wasn't gonna kill us or anything. Oh, wait, I forgot to... Oh my gosh. I'm seeing something that we can scan. Or it's like detecting it, but I don't know what it is. So maybe I'll just focus on taking the picture. Oh, what the heck? It's glowing even more than before! Look this way! You bummy! Come on! No! Where are you going? Meganium! So graceful. So beautiful. But please, look at the camera. Like, come on. No? Still no? Oh, maybe now. Oh, this might be... This might be the shot right here. Did the game just slow down? I think it kind of did. But it's not glowing anymore like it was earlier. Can we somehow trigger it to maybe, like, eat the plant or the flower or whatever? What does it want us to scan, man? Because it keeps popping up that, like... Ooh, there we go. That's a good one. But that exclamation mark at the bottom of the screen. I don't know what it means. <laughs> what is it? The sun? What do you want me to scan, game? Just meganium? Doing meganium things? I keep missing it when it's like at its peak glow. Which I guess is whenever it eats that crystal bloom flower, but... There. That's probably as good as it's gonna get. Though honestly, I think the other shot was still better. Yep. Back to the wilderness. And off we go, apparently, because... That's it for this level. Interesting that they made a whole course out of just the Meganium. I have a feeling that means there's going to be more giant Illumina Pokemon. I mean, it'd be kind of weird if there aren't. But Meganium's like the main one on the cover. So, I guess it's just because it's the first one. Got a lot to discuss, but first let's get those photos evaluated once again. It said we took 10 photos of Meganium? And some of them don't even count, what? Are they that bad? Oh, he wants us to photograph specifically the Illumina, so... When it's just chilling, they don't even count. I mean, we got a 2 star at least. That one's kind of cool, the way it's like... Kind of looking back at us, but... I'm guessing this one's better, because it's 2 stars. So there you go, Professor. That's as good as it's gonna get, man. Twinkle! And... Give me the points! I'm gonna say maybe 3k? Oh no, just cause it's an Illumina Pokemon means we got over 5k! Is that our first? Fiverr? Might be, but I'm not gonna count it, cause it's Illumina. 
Like, it's expected to be a little higher. Still, looking forward to see what other Pokemon might be glowing here in Lentil. Because Meganium's definitely not going to be the last one there. All right. Level 2 at night. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Like, Pidgeot? Is Pidgeot actually going to, like, you know, look our way this time? And yeah, according to the achievements there, that was our first 5k photo. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Is it rival time? I know I saw a rival in a lot of the trailers. I don't know when he's gonna show up, but... Uh, I'm only gonna save those two. Like, our album is almost already full, dude, so... Can't be saving too many of those. You're back. Yes, we are. Uh -huh. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Rita. I don't know about talking to Pokemon, girl. Like, well, take a deep breath. Yeah, you, you, you tripping. <laughs> Look who's talking. You were practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Remind me what the legends say about Illumina Pokemon again? Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yeah. Also. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. Ah. Sounds like our new friend. Right. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen and discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Oh. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention? That's alright, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. But I want to know! Tomorrow's probably when our rival comes through, and I'm not exactly looking forward to it. So, come on, Professor. Good morning! Did you manage to get some sleep, bruh? You think I was going to sleep after that giant Meganium whiffed its lovely sense my way? As Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. Huh? You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet, but fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, maybe. <laughs> For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. But... Still, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> It'll be way more fun with you along. Right. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? I thought you'd never ask, buddy. Well? What the heck? Suddenly the game got more HD. Excuse me? Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. A gym badge? In Lentil? Does that mean we start getting paid now? Yep. It's like you were born to wear it. Alright. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits! Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Oh, what? come on. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> she said exactly what I... Okay, just a little longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. Right. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Does that mean there's no new area yet? Maybe we gotta go explore the park at night again. Which I wouldn't mind, as long as Pidgeot is down for some pictures this time. And... Oh. More dialogue. Now that you're a full-fledged team member, I have something for you that'll come in handy. Apple! It's the apple! <laughs> Why am I freaking out over an apple? You'll find out when we get into the level. Would you do the honors, Rita? Oh, come on. Do we really need a tutorial just for apples? Is it just me, or have you been getting to do a lot more of the work lately, Professor? Oh well. Time to explain like the great assistant I am. Oh, man just disappeared. So this is... A fluff fruit? No, that, that's an apple. They're sweet and tasty, and they make a great snack for Pokemon. They may look like regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss it one of these days. All right. Let's get you some practice. All right, fine. 
I guess it's better than going into the level and not knowing what button to press and then I'll probably be freaking out. So, come on, let's get to it, Rita. B button, you say? Here you go, Pikachu. Eat it! <laughs> I know I love the little snack. Oh. It's the same as aiming your camera. Just move the left stick to aim, then press the B button to throw. I've been notorious to not have the greatest aim, so I don't know. Another try. But I'll try. Can I throw it right at Pikachu's oh. head? Hold up. Oh! Like you it. <laughs> That's literally what I was trying to do. Some Pokemon might not be interested. Hold on, let me bonk him right on the head. Oh. That's still not high enough. Okay, right, what about here? Right. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, I think, uh... I think Pikachu's had enough. <laughs> now it's time for the real run. Or not. Right? Pretty easy, right? I think that should be all you need to know. So I guess now we just wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. <gasps> oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> you should try testing out Flufffruit and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there are all kinds of ways to use it. Hello. And suddenly he's back. Finished explaining, I see. Mm -hmm. I've got one more thing to tell you about for now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. Now then. Are you too familiar with Lentalk? Oh, is that the Insta po Pocus Pokegram? Oh. It rings a bell, I think. Yep. It's a communication tool folks here in Lentil use. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and a description over Lentalk. Mm. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor, too. Huh. That sounds super fun! By the way. Look for Lentalk messages in the top right of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. Well, we'll see about that. I don't think I'm really gonna get many Lentalk- Oh, maybe we've already got some. What's going on here? Oh, they're all from the professor, of course. <laughs> well, what do you gotta say, man? Sometimes Florga seems to gather natural power from its surroundings. Would you mind getting a photograph of this striking behavior? I don't know how I would do that exactly, but... I wonder what it looks like when Torterra yawns. Aren't you curious to know too? Oh, so they're like little hints. Ways that we can trigger the Pokemon behaviors. Have you seen which Pokemon is scorching these fruits? I'd like you to try to catch the culprit in the act if you wouldn't mind. It's definitely Score Bunny. Or maybe, that's the only fire type we've seen, right? When Meganium gets to this spot, it starts looking around kind of restlessly. Do you think it's looking for one of its friends? Oh my god, we can get two Meganiums? Or maybe a different Pokemon? I don't exactly know. Let's find out. As we still only have Florio Park, but that's fine. You know, I didn't want the game to be short. That's one thing I was actually worried about uh, before it came out. That it wouldn't have too much content. Like the first game... Wasn't all that long, but there was definitely a lot of secrets that you could activate by using the apples and other, uh, you know, objects that you get. Good luck. So we can get Score Bunny now. No, hey, get back! Hey, come, hey, come here, boy! <laughs> he just ran right away, man. What the frick? Bidoof doesn't even notice him. You want to like look at that? Oh, I mean, I guess that wasn't a bad picture of him. Can I wake up the Buffalons now with the apples? I'm pretty sure we can, right? Oh my... Oh, I thought he was going to be pissed. He actually wasn't all that... Pidgeot! Eh, finally gotcha. I'm trying to actually, like, <laughs> get him angry. See if he does anything else, but I guess not. Um... Oh, Tangrowth. What happens if I hit you? Oh! My dude! Threw his hands up in the air like he just don't care. Jump! Jump for it! Hey! Jump! Oh no! Well... I guess that's different than the first picture we took. Wasn't there a Caterpie around here too? Or Oh! <gasps> no! I barely missed it! He was doing screen or string shot! And then the Murkrows... They already flew off. That's a... Oh! That's a glowing Thero! What? Yo! Did I get that though? What is this? That's the pincer mound, right? Noises are coming out from it. Oh! Little Caterpie! Eat it! Eat the apple! Oh, I was too late to get Pinsir out. Whatever, I got a good photo of him already before. Um, so the professor said to get a photo of Torterra yawning. That's it, snoring? I don't know about yawning. Wouldn't that mean we have to wake it up first? You wanna yawn for us? No? Oh, was that it yawning? Maybe I was too late. Score Bunny! 
All right, let's try to wake this one up. Come on, wake up, fool. Oh, there it is. Yes, we definitely got it yawning there. I like it. And then Pidgeot, he's just chilling this time. Ooh, that's a good shot. Kind of. I feel like we still could have done a little bit better. I mean, we can always do better, technically. But what else is around here? Ooh, that's a cool shot of Swana. Come on, give us the little... Give us the cheese. No? No cheese? All right. There we got another Torterra. <gasps> oh my gosh! And the sleeping Pichu! And Grookey! Wake up, buddies! Come on, no! What are you doing? What else is going on? I hear Murkrow's like going wild. Is Hoot Hoot still up there? I think if we hit Hoot Hoot, we might be able to knock him down from the tree. Oh no! Poor baby. Oh dude, that's sick! That's a good shot of Murkrow. See, sometimes not zooming in is actually better. I need to just like be quick with it. This Hoot Hoot might actually be even better to knock off the pedestal there. Hold up. Come here. I gotta hit you, bro. Oh. Oh. There we go. That wasn't very good because I zoomed in, but we got him to look like he's toppling over at least. Now come eat the apple, you fool. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for Very slowly going for it, but he's going for it. Oh, man. Maybe if I threw it a little bit closer to him, would have been a lot better. I don't think I'm really quite going to get him to do anything too crazy. Here, eat it. Eat the apple. No! <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this, dude. Like, I actually... It was a weird, kind of far-off dream career of mine to be an animal photographer at one point. Probably because of how much Pokemon I play. I feel like the closest thing in real life to Pokemon, you know, would be an animal photographer. Like, getting to interact with animals up close and personal. And, I mean, this game is literally living out that fantasy. I barely missed Caterpie doing String Shot, man. I guess I'll go for this one. Wait, that's a four star. Oh, maybe I did get it doing String Shot. Like, right at the last frame or something. Oh, that was a Swana, not a Thero. And it's a glowing one, though, so... Probably better. Oh, we got the four star Torterra. Oh, we got the... Well, I thought that was five star for a second. Okay, I got a little too hyped. I don't know which one is better. Whatever, dude. Give me the points, Professor. Howdy do. Bidoof. There's no topping that Bidoof picture. Like, I already know. Oh, well, I mean, it's a completely different category. That's a better way to put it, actually. Instead of behaviors, I'm gonna call them categories. So these are two star, both two star. So that's the same category, technically. You know, the game calls it behavior, but same thing. So if in the future I say category, just know that I'm referring to the behaviors. Uh, but that's a one star Pidgeot. Not too crazy. That's the two star Tangro. That's all right. I think we got golden stars. Four star Caterpie, but I don't think it's very good because, yeah, that's a bronze right there. It was like already done with the string shot and it's not from the front at all. The glowing Swana though. So that might show up in a later level as like a bigger close up like we had with Meganium. Maybe the other Torterra photo was actually better. This is a silver four star. Pichu, that's gotta be better. The dude is way closer up. Yeah, that's a 4,500. That's really good, dude. That might be the closest to 5k we've gotten, aside from Meganium, of course. And Hoot Hoot, I could have done much better, but, you know, we'll try again. Like, I'll probably be playing this off screen, or, I don't know. What I do know is we got level 2 at night. All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. I thought they were already comfortable, but maybe even more com- Oh, maybe I'll retry it again. One more for the road. And I'm going to try to do things a little differently. I feel like Scorbunny doesn't actually react to the apples. So maybe we just try to get a picture of him running. And then Bidoof. Oh my god. Okay, that might be the best Bidoof yet. How do I get a better photo of Pidgeot though? Oh, what? It ran away. Or flew. Maybe we don't want to do the scan around him. Because it seems to like wake him up. Ooh, we might be able to get Scorbunny running here. Oh, no, it's too far away already. Give me Grookey. Give me that Grookey. Grookey sleep. 
Grookey happy. I gotta aim this better, dude. I suck at aiming these apples. There we go. That's the hoot hoot that we needed right there. Ah, there we go. That's the score bunny. And then I think we can get Torterra too. Oh! Right at the end, man. We almost had it. This score bunny gotta be a lot better. Like, he's more in center. He's taking a little nap. Although, apparently, that's not a special behavior. We do get the diamond, though. I will take it. The doof. I'm really sad. I don't want to get rid of that Bidoof picture, but we finally got a better one. <laughs> fine. Fine. I'll take the diamond. Bofalant. We had silver. Now we've got gold. Okay. I'm getting a little better. You know, I thought I kind of didn't do that well this run, but... Oh, uh, what? How is that a silver? He's like way bigger in the middle from the front. Okay, I guess. We already had a diamond pincer, so... It's gonna be hot. Oh, probably because we didn't catch him from the front. So we'll, we'll stick with our original. Oh, wait, I picked the wrong one. Nice work. Ah, whatever. This Grookey. Oh my god, 2,000 for the size? Is that the highest you can get? Seems like it. We still haven't gotten anything interesting with either Grookey or Pichu, though. Like, any special poses, I guess. Uh, I'll stick with that one. That's way better. And then Hoot Hoot. This better be good, dude. That's gotta be a gold, right? Diamond Hoot Hoot, yes! Perfect! Even though he wasn't in the center of the frame, all of him was in the photo frame, I guess. And then Standard Torterra, somehow we still didn't have that. Alright, well, I'd say that's a good spot to call it. I mean, I want to keep running this same level, honestly, but we gotta move on at some point. In the next episode, we will probably be unlocking the second area of the park, so... I guess we're not done yet. You can do it. Just focus. Huh? Uh-oh. Huh? Well, look who is it this is. who I think it is? God. Wait, what? <laughs>